You know, before I get started, I'm, I'm going to say this to any of people who disagree with me and, you know, y'all call me a troll and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to start going live so y'all can come up here and, um, you know, we can just we can just go debate for debate. We can go topic for topic. Stephen A. Smith, um, he spoke about Garth Brooks. You know, Garth Brooks is accused of raping a woman and uh, sending mex text messages, explicit text messages. You know, things that should be under the jail if, if true, right? Stephen A. Smith pretty much said the difference between Garth Brooks and P. Diddy is that the feds picked it up. and He's in Brooklyn, one of the most notorious jails and so on and so forth. But I mean, honestly, I'm 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 sick of this guy, man. I'm sick of I'm sick of majority of these people online. Whenever there's a, a you know a Negro male is accused of something, well, he's guilty until proven innocent. But when it's somebody like Garth Brooks or Vince McMahon, they're innocent until proven guilty, and you have a completely different tone. You had lawyers come on talk about Diddy. All you see all day is Diddy this, Diddy that, Diddy 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 Diddy, making all these names up, calling him the dealer and. And uh, no Diddy and all, but how come when it comes to Garth Brooks, you don't say nothing? You barely hear anything. When it comes to Vic Smith, man, you barely hear anything. When it came to Dana White, your friend who was caught on camera, y'all made a small segment and moved on. But when it comes to somebody like a Von Miller, he's guilty until proven innocent. When it's somebody like a Diddy. Now, again, Diddy may be guilty. And if Diddy's guilty, if the feds have actual evidence, not trumped up charges, hey, you know. He should be under the jail, absolutely. But you try to make this narrative that all the feds came in. Well, they came in on Angela Davis and she walked off scot-free. Took him to court and everything under, under the Nixon administration and walked off scot-free. De defended herself when it comes to a... a and, and I don't want to compare them. To, I'm saying as far as like the feds beating the feds, even... Murder Inc. beat the feds. They were broke after that. They never recovered, but they beat the feds going to trial. I just had a buddy beat the feds. Somebody I went to school with just literally just beat the feds after being locked up for several years. Took it to trial and won. So it happens. You know, when it, when, it, when it comes to us, when it comes to the Negro male, he is literally guilty until proven innocent. And you have people like Stephen A. Smith who come on and get the dancing every time something happens. But again, when it's somebody else that, that don't look like him. Oh, oh, well, like a Josh Giddy, prime example, prime example. We had to literally make videos and pressure him. And then what he said, can you hear all the evidence? Can we call the evidence first, please? You know, can can, can due process do it? Can process, can it do his time? But yet when it comes to Diddy, he, he, he's guilty. He's guilty. You don't want to hear nothing about it. So, I mean, it's just sad. It's sad. This is the world that we come to. And the fact that, see, this is what I like about the internet. We, we're able to, us mom and pop channels, we're able to express ourselves. And we know the obvious, man. They literally get on there and... Uh, uh, soon, soon as somebody else do it, no, 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 it's a mistake, man. He's not perfect. <laughs> but when it comes to us, oh man, that man should be guilty, man. You know, I don't want to hear nothing about it. He's guilty. Well, I mean, again, oh, because the UFC had a deal with ESPN, that's why y'all just had a small segment. But had Dana White been a Negro male, y'all would have had a panel up, it would have been on CNN. MSNBC, FS1, they would have had counselor come in and talk about how how horrible of a person he is and and uh, maybe one day he can get forgiveness, but he has a long road to go. But Dana White does that and then he just moves on. And you don't say nothing about it else no more, Stephen A. Smith. Now, does Stephen A. Smith have an incredible worth ethic? Absolutely. We can't take that from him. Does he have the gift of gab? Absolutely. We can't take that from him. But is he out here cutting a jig? Absolutely. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's for people to watch the, to watch his videos and not understand. Even Shannon, I like Shannon Sharp. Even Uncle Shay. It's funny that when Steven, when um, Skip Bayless tell you to put your glasses back on, you don't have that same energy as you did for, for a John Morant or a Mike Epps. You talking about, I'm going to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> but when it come to us, man, when it come to us, we look at each other. <laughs> but when it come to somebody else, oh, man, pull out your phones, man. Don't do that, man. It's not fair. Oh, somebody help us. It's a bunch of pathetic people, man. You know, so I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm tired of it. And it, every time moving forward that I don't see that same energy, I'm not letting it go. I'm going to drop video after video. Uh, after after these uh, these characters on TV, but yeah, tell me what y'all think.